In today's video, we will talk about the ways to quickly and effectively check an oscilloscope for any move functions after purchase. First and foremost, of course, make an inspection for visual evidence. It means checking the oscilloscope for completeness, let's assume we've done it and we have the complete set, and also making inspection for visual evidence as such. This is checking for any damage, scratches or evidence that the oscilloscope has been tampered with. It is also checking whether warranty void stickers are there. In our case, there are two stickers, the manufacturer sticker and the sticker from the store. You can see that our oscilloscope is new and not damaged, at least at first glance. Now, let's go on to checking the device technical condition. We need to switch it on first. Here it is, the device is switched on. The first thing to do is to test how old input channels work. So we use a probe from the package. In fact, each oscilloscope has an output for a calibration square wave. And we will use it. We can press the auto button right away. So, channel 1 works ok. Everything is being aligned, all is well. Let's check channel 2. Again, you can click the auto channel to avoid adjusting the knobs manually. Looks like everything is fine here as well. Now we need to check how all buttons work. That is, check the display. You can do this manually, of course, just by clicking on everything, but it takes a lot of time, it is annoying, boring, and it's quite easy to make a mistake. All modern oscilloscopes have a special function – self-testing. Let's use it. Usually, you can find it in the Utilities section. Here it is – self-test, that is, self-testing. So, the first thing we check is the display. With this check, we can see whether there are any broken pixels or other malfunctions. Here is the red color. Absolutely everything is clear. I do not see any problems, distortions or the like. Then there is the green color. No broken pixels here either. All is well. As you can see, everything is fine. The display is ok. Next, let's test the keyboard. We turn all buttons one by one, and here we have segments lighting up. Here is our dual encoder. There is the right arrow and a left arrow. If I press it, we'll have this section backlighted. In this way, we can check virtually all buttons, not being afraid to skip any of them. It is in fact very convenient. So, we push right and left. Well, as you can see, everything is fine. Absolutely all buttons work ok, encoders operate fine. Press this three times to exit. The last test we can do is the button backlight test. An arrow lights up here. Then this button and this one. You can click on every button one by one, but there is a mode where all buttons light up. Now almost all buttons indicated on the display are backlighted. These six buttons, these two buttons, and these four buttons in the middle. So button backlight works ok. As you can see, the test takes just a few minutes. But afterwards, you can be confident that the oscilloscope you have works perfectly.